Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and in today's video, as you will have seen by the title, I'm going to be playing with the new Giant Wolves palette from Odin's Eye and Annette. That's Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I'm a huge fan. Um, I just want to show you everything before I dive on into the two looks. Firstly, this box. This is the box that it came in. I only got the one palette, and I know it does have the three on, but it's a really cute, sturdy box. Definitely one that can be repurposed. And in the box, you get this little slip here. And on the back, it has got messages from each of the people. Obviously, I only have Annette's and Annette has written thank you all so much for supporting this collaboration I hope you have as much fun playing with it as I did creating it Annette that's so cute and then at the bottom you've got working with Judy Tina and Annette is an attempt for Odin's eye to focus on the eight ancient legends of different cultures thank you for this amazing experience love from Odin's eye I think that is just lovely really lovely and before we get to the palette i don't know if i can fit all of this in frame this is the scarf is it in there i don't know this is the scarf that came with it it is so beautiful so beautiful oh, i love it so yeah i think that is all so just so the palette itself that is just oh the artwork is stunning absolutely stunning you have the palette inside the outer slip whilst it is the same design this is smoother and this is more textured oh, it's so so pretty this is definitely a palette that is going to look really good displayed kind of in a backdrop or just up in your room this is beautiful and the color story looks like this look at that and yeah I created two looks one on each eye so yeah if you would like to see how I created these looks and hear my first impressions of the Giant Wolves palette from Odin's Eye and Annette, then yeah, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm here with my cat ears on. I'm feeling very Halloween-y, getting in the spirit. Um, I have primed my eye with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02. The only plan I have is that I'm doing two different looks. So, for look number one, where am I going to start? Okay, so I am going in with a blaze. I am so excited to be trying this and just owning another one of Annette's collab palettes. So Annette is a creator that I I've watched her for so long and I love her. She is just a whiz with colourful makeup. She thinks to put together combinations that very, very few people do. So I'm just taking this colour through my crease and it is blending out beautifully. That is always a good start so I am of course going to be slightly biased because it's Annette and I love Annette so whilst yes this is a first impression and I will be completely honest with you and part of that being honest is that I I love Annette so I think that's definitely going to, it's just something to note, but you can see for yourself how the shadows perform. 
this color is just beautiful so I'm really blending it out upwards I did watch Annette's videos with this palette but I haven't seen anyone else's yet I am super excited to see what my fellow creators have created with this palette I think there's quite a few that do actually have this already I know that Debbie from Vinyl Beauty has it so I am super excited for her video Okay, that is looking really nice I am, I am loving this right so I'm going to take a smaller brush I didn't say what that brush was did I it's just a Morphe fluffy brush it's from one of the collections I can't remember which one now but that's that and I'm gonna go in next with a spectrum a12 um, as many of you will know, it's my favourite, my favourite brush to use, and I am going to go in with Cosmos. I have absolutely no idea where, well, the direction that this look will take. There is a bit of kick up in the pan, but it's nothing too bad. And I'm not being super careful not to get fallout just purely because I haven't done my base so it doesn't really matter but also I'm not seeing much in the way of fallout if any look really up close no nope. so far there is no fallout to note this color is stunning and as I am going around with this I am just feather blending it up into the shade above just look at that that was effortless absolutely effortless so I am going to pat a little bit more right in this outer area here again I'm not worried about any fallout or going over I do we kind of try not to but at the moment we are just concentrating on the beauty that is this shade just look at that and just look at how efforts effortlessly these have blended together that is just beautiful I'm just making sure to bring it out a bit I will clean that up but just look at that I am going to go back in with the brush I had a blaze on I'm just going to kind of feather it feather it outwards Make sure that is all blended beautifully and then back in with the brush with Cosmos on Again, I haven't added any extra I may want to in a bit but for now I'm just flicking what is there that is beautiful just look at that absolutely gorgeous I'm loving how this is looking so I'm going to quickly pop on some NYX glitter primer and then we'll do the shimmers okay guys so glitter primer on I am first going to go in with Skull I have no idea how you pronounce these so I am so sorry so sorry and I'm going to go in with a Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader 
Let's see what this baby does. That. that is stunning. Look at that. I'm just building it up a bit and I just want to drag it inwards a bit more just so that when I put the other shimmer on there's going to be kind of an overlap. Look at that. And then for the inner part, I am going to, I'm actually going to just go straight in with Eternal. I know that this is more of a topper shade, I believe, or, you know, like over the top of the others. But I want to see what it does. I didn't say the brush. It is a Morphe kind of flat, fluffy brush. And this, oh, look at that. It's such a beautiful, I'm not sure if it's a duochrome or a multichrome. Whatever it is, I'm loving it. And this is building up perfectly just on its own. Whoo! That. Oh, look at that. I see pink, I see green, I see lavender colour. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Ooh, okay, I'm just going to dip back into a little bit of Cosmos, the deeper shade here, and I'm just going to kind of use that to blend the edges of the shimmer here. And then just back in with a tiny bit of a blaze the pinky colour and I'm just gently blending over the join there I am loving how this is looking that is looking beautiful. So I'm just going to go back in with a bit of the first shimmer school. I'm just going to tap over the join a little bit so that we haven't lost it. Who would have thought I'd have been losing one of the stronger shades to one of the topper style shades? But there we go. Oh, look at that. That is so, so beautiful. So I'm going to go back in with Cosmos, the deeper matte. And I am going to really pack that in there and then with whatever's left on the brush just kind of flick it out. All of this is going to get cleaned up so not concerned about that at all. That is looking beautiful. So what I'm going to do, because I do want to deepen this out of up just a bit, I'm going to go in with just a touch of annihilation. And I'm going to take that, if I can find one of my Jinxie Jinxie brushes. There's one. Um, this is a brush from Cosmic Brushes, UK indie brand. It's tiny. Um, I love it. So I'm just going to go into Annihilation with, <laughs> with this tiny brush. And literally just feathering a little bit in just to, just to deepen.
look at that working absolutely beautifully and then just using the same brush into Cosmos so it's still got a tiny bit of the, the black on but then it's Cosmos as well that is beautiful and then back in with the original shimmer so you take a tiny bit I want that to be kind of a blend between the that look at that that is absolutely stunning okay so guys i'm going to nip off clean this up prime this side and then i'll be back to continue so just stay where you are okay guys so i primed cleaned that one up a bit and i am now going to go in with antipode this green up here i've been so excited to try this shade i'm going in on a made by mitchell me1 brush and i'm just going to be taking that just directly in my crease these are going to be two very different looks obviously because they are completely different colors and i think they're going to give off completely different vibes also love these types of green this is so beautiful I'm just making sure to concentrate it in my crease and then blend it up and out so just continuing to blend what we have up and out and again, this is just blending beautifully. Back into the crease. So each time I go back into the crease, I'm deepening that that little bit more. But then just by doing the little s soft circles, I'm just blending some up and out. So we're keeping the depth in the crease but bringing the colour up a bit more yeah this shade is beautiful really grungy I love that Annette put some real grungy shades in this palette and I think it's so very different to the Serenity palette um, perfectly different if that makes sense this is beautiful i hope this is showing true to color on camera because this is just one of the most beautiful grungy green shades that i have tried this is so beautiful Okay, so stop messing about with that colour. Right. Hmm, I have a choice here. I'm, I'm going to go in with Desolate. So I really want to see what this looks like on the eye. If I want to deepen up, I do have Annihilation. But I honestly don't think... I am going to need it. Look at that. Instant depth and colour payoff. And just bringing that just right low down into the crease just to assist deepening that up. Oh, this shade's so pretty. There is a little bit more kick up in both this shade and Cosmos than the others I've tried so far but that is absolutely fine when it performs like this look at 
that. So I'm not actually taking colour and placing it up here. I'm using what is low down and blending that up and out. This is so pretty. So pretty. Now I don't know if I'm going to need annihilation or not, but we shall see about that. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of antipode, the first shade, and just to go over the join. Oh, look at that. That was like, I barely had to do anything. They just kind of made friends. So beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then we'll continue. Okay, glitter primer on. I am first going to go in with Flare, the more green, more green, the green shimmer. Just make sure I've not got creases going on. Oh my word. This shade is everything look at that i do have fallout but i loaded my brush up and it is quite a fluffy brush so it's going to probably distribute this a little more in other words flick it everywhere but yeah oh look at that you could definitely avoid that by spraying the brush um but i haven't done my base so i don't care look this is just that is so beautiful oh the brush sorry was a jessup 234 lux smoky shader and i am now going in with another one of these fluffy morphe brushes and i'm going to go in with hattie hattie I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm super excited to try it. Are we ready? Oh, ho, ho. I don't think we were. Look at that. These shimmers are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Just going to try and drag it into the green shimmer just a little bit just to kind of mush them together a little bit luckily the uh, shimmers are easier to blend together like opposite colors than mattes but oh, look at that oh this is stunning i'm just packing some on the inner part and then just dragging it into the green oh. Oh, that looks so pretty and then the brush I used with green shimmer just going to take that and tap over join with this one That is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. And then just going back in with Desolate, the deeper matte shade. I'm just kind of tapping into the shimmer a little bit, just to get them to smoosh together. making sure that's blended and then I'm just taking whatever's left on that brush along the edge of the shimmer there just 
try and blend it in a little bit and then I'm back in with the brush that I used for antipode not added anything extra although I think I might just add a touch just to oh that's perfect look at that then just trying to drag that deeper green out just a little bit more and I'm just kind of feathering all of that outwards oh it's so beautiful so beautiful right same as last time I'm gonna nip off I'm gonna clean up probably finish my face I'll leave the lash line untouched and we'll do the lower lash line together so just stay where you are and I'll be back in just a moment okay guys so everything that you see on my face will be listed in the description box below for if you want to check that out um, I will say that the liners I used, if I can get them the right way around, they're both Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liners. And on this eye is Treble. And then on this eye, it is BPM. That was really good timing. Um, so I'll pop those aside. Now let's work on the lower lash line and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing I didn't even think to think about it we're just uh, yeah just gonna have to roll with it so let me have a think right I'm gonna try and use some colors that I haven't used yet so I am first for this eye going in with howling shade here I haven't swatched these at all so I'm not quite sure what to expect this looks to be like a really deep purple let me just swatch that quickly it is a purple it's beautiful you wouldn't think that I'd seen the next videos would you my brain on all these meds is mush but better than being in pain but I am going to take that with right into the outer corner there because I do have this dip that I want to uh, disguise please excuse Poppy next door having some work done and I have never heard a lad make so much fuss over carrying a bag. You'd think it was killing him. Um, so yeah, if you hear weird, loud moans and grunts, that is the young lad out the front who's uh, <laughs> carrying bags back and forth. So let's continue this. Oh, this is so pretty. Pretty. Do I even want to put anything else there? I might put a bit of shimmer there. But other than that, I don't really want to put anything else there. And I'm going to take a clean P. Louise hashtag 1172 lost it in my blend. And I'm just going to use that just to very lightly feather the edge so it's not a harsh line. Beautiful. 
and then I think um oh the first brush I didn't even say what it was it's a crown little smudgy brush and then I'm going in with a Morphe M149 and I'm going to go in with I'm going to go in with what's it called eternal i don't know if i said the name of it when i did use it i hope so i am going to give the brush a quick spray i'm using the this tarte maracuja miracle mist i really like this and i'm just going to bring that right up against the lash line there this is such a beautiful shade where i can see a green shift in it i think it's one that will go very nicely with the greens and i think it would maybe show up more of the green i'm going to have to test that theory but oh look at that right so on a spectrum a13 i am going in with as you look at the imprint in this one before I ruin it. How cute is that? So cute. Um, so I'm just going to take a bit of that, trying not to ruin the paw print. I love that. And I'm going to bring that right up. This is super pigmented. I barely dipped in that. And this is wow right straight away taking the same Eloise brush I just uh, color switched it and I'm just going to make sure that is completely blended I do not want that harsh line now that blue is far more pigmented than I was expecting. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I like that a lot. And on, oh, I am going to dip into Desolate. I'm just gonna take that on that crown smudgy brush, same as I used for the other side. I just want to take that right in the outer area here and then right up against the lash line. You can see what I'm doing. Literally right up against the lash line. If you can hear Mr. Fluff in the background, he is meowing away. Um, no idea why. It might be because the door's shut and he can't get in. I like that a lot. Right. For shimmer. Do you know, I might just go in with Eternal again. So going into Eternal with the Morphe M149, same as I did for the other side, and getting some on my brush, and I'm just going to give that a spray. Rid of the hair. And again, right up against the lash line oh that looks beautiful okay I'm obsessed with this shade and it's bringing kind of a bit of unity and tying the two looks together a bit That is so beautiful, so beautiful. Right, inner corner and brow bone. So 
have I used all of them yet? The only one I haven't used yet is Astral. So I am going in with Astral. And I'm using a Pract pencil brush. This is from Sigma, I believe one of their more affordable ranges. And I'm going to pick up some of Astral. And I am going to give that a spray. And then let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. And that is going to go perfectly on both sides. Look at that. That is so pretty. So pretty. And spray and we'll do the same on this side okay now that is beautiful that is gorgeous. All right, and then I just want to take just a tiny little Morphe pencil brush, doesn't have a name or number, and just going back into Astral, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to place that right up under my brow there. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. Right. So all that's left to do is find a lipstick. So I'm going to head off because it's probably going to take me forever to choose the right lipstick. So I'm going to nip off and do that. And then I will be back with the finished look. Looks. So, uh, yeah, if you would like to see that, and if you would also like to hear my first thoughts on the beautiful Giant Wolves palette from Odensei and Annette, I think I've kind of given it away what I think of it, but yeah, if you'd like to see the finished look and hear my first thoughts on this palette, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with the finished look, looks, um, let me know what you think in the comments section below, do you like look one, or look two, I honestly can't choose, I have had so much fun playing with this, Everything else I have popped on my face you will find listed in the description box below for if you'd like to check that out. But today we're talking about the Giant Wolves palette. Just look at that packaging. Oh, I'm in love with the packaging. And this scarf is just amazing. I have nothing like this and I love it. It is so beautiful. I just need to work out whether I want to pin it up or use it in my hair. I don't know yet. But the packaging on this, it feels... I don't know how to describe it. Can you hear? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And like the writing's raised slightly. Oh, the wolves. That artwork is amazing. It is so beautiful. And the inside, below the mirror there, it says Annette. So she has signed it. And this colour story, guys, seriously. Just take a look at that. Obviously, you have seen every single one of these in action today i am so happy i managed to fit all of them in 
there are in my eyes no duds whatsoever i loved every single shade oh, every single shadow was just perfect absolutely perfect i couldn't even choose a favorite I am so happy I own this along with the Serenity palette. And that if you do happen to watch this for any reason, this is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. You have done such a fantastic job. And I love that it's so different from the Serenity. So beautiful. Um, so yeah, I think you know what my thoughts are. I love it absolutely love it so I think with that being said it's time for me to go so if you've liked the video please do give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are new if you enjoyed this video if you like colorful makeup looks if you maybe want to discover some indie brands that you hadn't heard of before or just see more indie brands being used so yeah, if that all sounds like uh, something you'd be interested in seeing more of, then please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you of my future uploads. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.